And we showed how to bring down those inflammatory markers within a quarter of an hour. And there is no pill, no medicine involved. It's your own awareness, your own power. What you do right now is make a physiological reset of the nervous system. In today's video, I put together all of the best lessons from the Iceman himself, Wim Hof, to teach you how to improve your immune system. You are not gonna wanna miss out on this. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, drop a like, and comment your key takeaways below. Are we able to tap into all the layers of the immune system? Yes, we have shown that. That may enable people, 12 people, from the scratch, just in a couple of days, to enter into the uh, immune uh, layers of the specific immune system, and, uh, which means that is the deepest, that is the T cells, the B cells. Mm. And uh, what do you need to prevent from uh, bacteria to come in? To have a, a direct contact with the T cells, B cells, the specific immune system. Before, they thought it is not possible to tap into that. It takes five to seven days, you know, like a flu. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly it's over. Why? Because a specific immune system is triggered and it takes five to seven days. But now, in a quarter of an hour. That should be a subject in uh, any classroom to take on in the journey of life mm. for every kid. Right. So, uh, the hormonal system and the immune system which is related to mood, power, and health, Th those should be uh, mm. subject back. Do you ever get sick doing all this ice cold therapy stuff? Sometimes I get, you, get you know, when, when I get a lot of responsibility, like bringing people mm. like this 76-year-old uh, uh, man up uh, Kilimanjaro and no, having no uh, casualties yeah, yeah. And, and things, then you take on a lot of psychic stress. The energy, yeah. And it takes about a, a day that I feel uh, when, I sh uh, when I'm home, when mission is completed, it takes a day. And then uh, I got enough and then uh, do some breathing and it's over. Like for, for like a cold or like the flu or something? Uh, or yeah, yeah, sort of flu. Sort of like, flu, like just symptoms. a little exhausted. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. But you never really get sick. No, no. Because you're always fine-tuning yourself and yeah, you I, don't I take it on. I do what, uh, what I program my body to Amazing. do. Amazing. What would you say for someone who has got a nasty cold or a flu that, you know, usually takes a week or two to kind of like get, to get over? How could they just do this breathing? You think so, huh? Yes. Do it every single day, a couple no, times a day? That's what or? is shown in a comparative study hmm. because they create uh, with a bacteria injecting wow. a flu-like, a severe flu-like uh, symptoms. And now within a quarter of an hour, it's all suppressed. Really? Yes. Amazing. Only for that already, bang. Amazing. What's the? There's a quote. You probably you probably know it. Um, master the breathe. Master your breathing, and you have the strength of ten tigers or ten lions. Have you ever heard this quote? Where you like learn to master your breath, and you have the power or the strength of ten tigers. Y yes, you because you learn to. Uh, I mean, that's a different story too. We. Uh, I'm, I'm planning to do. Uh, 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 some friends who are Maasai, and they walk with lions. They are able to go into the lion's dens and mm. territory. And the lions actually are afraid of them. Really? How? So 20 lions, <laughs> little kid, 12 years, Maasai, comes and they go bang, 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 bang. Why? Why? Because they uh, uh, go past their fear. They have control. They tune. They adapt. And the breath they uh, are it is easy it's not fast because of the uh, anxiety they're not scared because when they are uh, when you become scared and they know then a lion can smell you then you are uh, uh, in the line of the uh, foot uh, pyramid you are, you're weak you should be uh, uh, gotten out of the of the life you so know if you're right? the, so if you're in the woods That's survival of the fittest so if you're in the woods with a wolf or a bear or whatever someone is coming to attack you, how should you respond with the breath? At ease. Like going into a stressful uh, situation, like you can measure it with ice water. When I uh, 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 bring people in one afternoon, something like that, uh, no experience in the ice water. Ice water is like a knife. <laughs> yeah. If you have no experience. Yeah. More even, because the body is conditioned. 
and it blocks well the force comes in and it needs to be counted and it's blocking from the inside and it's not able to get there then you feel the cold even uh, like a knife um, <coughs> but in one afternoon I bring them over there and I just tell them just breathe and stay with the breath let the body do what it is able to do do not block just go with the breathing your mind is then in the breathing mm. it's not blocking w uh, with this conditioning of yours the uh, conditioning is is a second nature yeah is an attitude but it's also chemistry and it's uh, it's fine if you walk in a city but not in extreme situations then you need the full flow you need to learn to let go and uh, at the moment when the bears are coming to you then uh, yeah, then you gotta go with the flow actually the bear if you are totally relaxed he won't do anything really yes have you ever experienced any type of wildlife attack no a stressful not. situation uh, 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 extreme polar situations. bears i don't know no polar bears no I guess you just swim away from them. Huh? Human bears, yeah, like Human you bears. said. <laughs> no, I, I trained, uh, uh, you know, big fighters too and the things. And they be all become very uh, at ease. Hmm. I, I always tell them, uh, I don't know how good you are. I don't care how good you are. I'm going to make you better. Hmm. So listen. And together uh, we get that. Do you, do you, when you get into ice cold, do you prepare a certain amount of breathing before you go in and then it's during or is it just when you get in how do you like get your mind right if you're a beginner obviously you have you know years if of you are a beginner uh, uh, then even just a cold shower you're just like i'm gonna yes. get this cold and i'm like cold shower. you're already like shaking before you get in because you know it's gonna cold exactly. how should someone prepare for that exactly you uh, gotta know two things if you uh, uh, if i go before i do a record for example i measure it then, without moving, I've already programmed myself. I'm going to go into that uh, ice, and I need to perform. And the body knows. And it has been shown, without moving, blood been uh, analyzed, 300% more activity of the cell. That is combustion. That's energy. And it's just because I was just thinking the mind. so. So, if you begin to think, oh, it's going to be cold, it's going to so what be, what's your mind, be really cold. What's your mind process? Like, walk me through the mind. The mind? Ten minutes before, what are you thinking before you jump in? Yeah. Relax. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you're, uh, you're about to go in. I know now. <sighs> Just breathing. <sighs> and, uh, sometimes these retentions, as you did. And uh, when I approach, I already got the... You're fully relaxed, though. I'm fully relaxed. You know where I learned this? I learned it by climbing without ropes, without gear. On the ice or just on rocks? No, on rock. Wow. On rock. And uh, I learned to <laughs> just to read the rock. Oh, I can do this. And that means I'm in the math. Um, uh, in the math. Uh, it's not that I'm writing, oh, so much, uh, that's a solution. No, that's the difficulty of the rock. That's the texture. This is the weather. This is the pressure I feel. It's all there automatically, and I feel it. It's called intuition. Intuition, instinct. And it makes a great measurement. Huh. And then I see, I read it, and then there's no problem. I go climb, no minding, just feeling. And I do it. And th that, th that uh, it's there where I learned that we are able to program uh, the body, even in uh, extreme conditions, especially in extreme conditions. Yeah. It should be impeccable. You should be uh, able to, uh, to trust it completely. So I learned to trust it. And then, <coughs> and then the body is uh, uh, able to do so much more than we think. We are, uh, are full of fear in society because of what we have created. We have created a, a world which is controlled. But mm. when we get out of that controlled world, then suddenly uh, it, it all becomes dangerous. But it is not. It is our nature is quite able to adapt to so much more. And we have lost this. 
and I uh, I brought this now back uh, and, ma and made it a sort of beneficial by studies that we are able to tackle disease far more better and depression far more better mm. than we ever thought before. Mm. And those need to be the subjects in the yeah. in school. Absolutely. What's your what's your morning routine look like? <sighs> breathing is always there. You know, conscious breathing. Uh, right now, I'm a man on a mission, mm. and I'm in. Uh, every day, I think about uh, what do I got to do with the uh, uh, upcoming research, and the research being done up till now is going to be published. New studies on pain, inflammation on the brain, mm. brain stem. Uh, 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 all these things are happening right now, so I'm taking care of that it within m myself, minding. Then conscious breathing, of course, and uh, when I need, I do push-ups or stand on one hand or go into a cold. I think um, uh, January, um, I got a new sort of goal. I want to do Kilimanjaro, mm. six kilometers on barefoot <laughs> and uh, in 24 hours. Wow. Uh, that's a goal, you know? Uh, uh, you set it. And then once again, I'm programming my body to, to function. prepare for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, and it's conditioning by itself. Mm -hmm. How important is setting a vision for yourself or for anyone? How important is it to see the vision, to see the goal well far in advance so you can prepare for it as opposed to just uh, hoping it happens? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> know that the power of the mind is so, uh, 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 can be so strong. I've learned it now. That, uh, that whatever I think will become reality. And my mission is not materialistic g gain so much. Yeah, of course, I need to take care of my family. Mm -hmm. And that's all done. But uh, how much ca uh, do you, uh, do you ne uh, need in money and materialistic uh, things? It's only up till a degree that it uh, satisfies right. and uh, that it makes you happy. And then from there... It's just gr money grieving more, 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 more. Hey, fine, not with me. I like happiness, strength, and health. So I got my mission, and anything I'm thinking therein is uh, is becoming reality. Mm. So, and sometimes I test it because I'm dealing with people. I deal with a, a scientific establishment, with the existent establishment of how to make money and. Uh, industry and uh, uh, and all that uh, so i have to interact mm -hmm. and learn how to reach my goals therein it's not only me it's uh, receiving sending mm -hmm. receiving sending until i reach the goal right. what is my goal my goal is to the school of greatness mm. life is great man <laughs> yes, and is. that it is and now we have to bring the fundaments into our schooling system because we love our kids. Absolutely, yeah. Caring and sharing begins over there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's not only about uh, this, uh, the society. Mm -hmm. I th you know, in Baltimore, uh, so I just saw a documentary on Baltimore, and they said it's a shame of America or something, you know, all these, uh, the, the back uh, streets, and uh -huh. they have no money, no possibilities, this and that. And they get into this loop and... Uh, now they have begun to meditate on the school the, with the kids. And, uh, and it has broken through this depressive state of being. And I, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. That's only meditation already. It's stop, go, uh, 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 and, uh, go within the limbic system yeah. uh, the, and take away the anxiety and live there. Because you know what happens if you, if you don't do that? The dominant neocortex brain, our thinking brain, is able to extract 25% more blood flow wow. all the time. So it's taken it from somewhere else. That are, it is the limbic system and the brainstem. And thus, the uh, chemistry inside that brain is changing. And logically, if the chemistry changes... No accessibility, no mm -hmm. um, be, not being able to control or to enter, not feeling peaceful yeah. and the depth anymore. It's all logic. Mm. So uh, meditation is able uh, possibly to break through there and children are still uh, very open uh, to it and they recognize the, uh, the nature of uh, yeah. our mind. Yeah.
interleukins are the inflammatory markers. It's part of the cytokine storm, so-called. And we showed within a quarter of an hour, 100% score, all the 12 of them, how to bring down those inflammatory markers within a quarter of an hour. Wow. So why are they not talking? Why are, are they only talk about mouth caps and social distancing and economic lockdowns? They don't talk about how to boost personally, individually, every person in the world, evidence-based how to boost your own immune system, which could be much more than is done or known right now. We got the evidence, we published in the best papers of the world, so why not use it? Yeah, I, yeah, I, interviewed, so I interviewed Andrew Huberman. I'm not sure if you know about him. He's yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I worked with, with him. Yeah, and he, he verified the validity of this research experiment and agrees with it and thinks that uh, you know, it's very valid in the whole experiment as a as a neuroscientist, and uh, is a a big proponent of breathing, of mastering your breath, of mastering the uh, neurology in your brain, and connecting it to your body so that you can boost your immune system as well and have more power over your mind. What what happens to our confidence, our belief in ourselves when we train our minds to overcome sickness and disease? Your confidence naturally will be boosted. Like right now, there's fear mongery going on. Anxiety is the result. Why not give people the tools, natural tools, for them to be able to sense an absolute sense of control within that boosts the confidence more than ever before thought possible. People, people have lost confidence. They've lost this connection. They, uh, the, the government is no longer able to control uh, normal health uh, 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 within the society. It's, it's like bigger than a war going on. Mm -hmm. 200,000 casualties, uh, deaths in a war. I mean, that's war, what is going on right now. And those people, through tools within themselves, uh, would be able to bring down the inflammation and uh, uh, because we have shown this already and we know the damaging factor. So it should be out in the open and I can challenge any doctor or professor within a, a half hour, he will see the results. Can someone say they get sick, whether it's coronavirus or some other sickness, they get a cold, they get, whether well, their immune system's weak and they catch something. Is it possible to transform your immunity and boost your immune system when it's already weak, when you have coronavirus, when you have some other sickness? Is it possible to get healthy when you're there? Or is this more a preventative thing to, to, to do the method when you're feeling good so that you don't get sick? Can, you, can it be for when yes. you are sick? I, I, I tell you this. Uh, in New York, recently, they did uh, a research uh, bringing people with severe uh, COVID-19 who were uh, bound to die beyond help. They brought them into uh, controlled hypothermia. Controlled hypothermia into uh, in Celsius, 34.5 degrees. That's a little slight, slightly down the normal core body temperature. They kept them there for two days, 48 hours, and they survived. Not only they healed, they reversed the disease. Really? Yes. So huh. people who are in severe COVID-19, they suffer from pneumatic oedemia. And then it's very difficult to use the power of the lungs because they are damaged. But I tell you this, people who start having symptoms of coronavirus, they are very able to suppress it in the beginning. Mm. So mind about this. You don't, this is not a challenge. This is not just philosophy. This is data based that you are able in the beginning when the symptoms begin of COVID to bring it down with these specific breathing exercises. You bring down effectively within a quarter of hour the inflammatory markers. Wow. What's it is a, there. Can you give a 60-second demonstration of 
breathing yes. technique. If someone feels anxiety, stress, overwhelm, fear, all this happening in the world right now, and they're not sick yet, but they feel the sickness of the mind, yes. what's, what's a 60-second practice that you would get them to do right in that moment? Uh, it's, a, it's almost ridiculous how simple it is. <laughs> but here it comes. The, the gravity is there, guys. You really suffer from those symptoms, the, the stress, the anxiety, the fear, the, the flu-like uh, uh, being, the, the cold, the, the uh, uh, redeemed immune system, the weakened immune system. You feel all that? Do this. You sit down, fully there, the way nature meant it to be, relaxed and here. And now you're going to go and take the life force in, which is the breath. You take it fully in. You use your belly and you use your chest to take it fully in and let it go. And you do it once again. And your mind is not out there. It's in with the breath. Because the symptoms are signals. They say, you got to go in. You got to go in. There is something going on inside. Okay, then go inside with your mind. And once again. Keep on going. You keep on going, then I can explain what is happening. What right now is happening with Lewis, he is blowing off the carbon dioxide, which is the acidity. That is the breathing trigger. He is blowing it off. The body becomes very alkaline. What happens when your uh, immune system uh, is deregulated, when you depression, you've got depression and inflammation is there, that means that uh, acidity is too long at present and the stress is deregulating our systems. Now we're making it alkaline. Suddenly we get a hold. Through the adrenal axis, we get a hold. You can feel it because you become tranquil. You become okay. Why? Because you are the alchemist. You are changing the biochemistry right now. We did this in the university and the professors and the doctors were all astounded. They saw the monitors. Wow, the alkalinity is going up. Heart rate is going down. Uh, the, the, uh, the inflammation is going down. It's, uh, it's amazing what is happening. So uh, we keep on doing this. You become lightheaded. Loom in the body is logical. Carbon dioxide goes out. Alkalinity is coming in and it goes as deep as the lymphatic system. And in the lymphatic system, once it is cleansed through this deep breathing, the white cells come. The white cells, the lymphocytes, the neutral fields, they come alive because the if garbage is gone. The life comes back. And that, that, that is the immune system. The specific immune system ha takes down the intruder in the core at the beginning that is what is happening now and this is the way we trick and the mind and the body beautifully so simple and why not do it as uh, when it is so simple because it has been proven by science and our message our difficulty our task is to bring this simply to the people mm -hmm. that the gravity therein is is fully there and the power is there, it's effective and accessible. There we are, that's what we do. We bring uh, uh, people tools to battle their anxiety, inflammation, mood regulation, uh, uh, overall uh, uh, bad feeling, you don't know where it is. And uh, I was talking with Aubrey Marcus about fibromyalgia, it, it's something the doctors don't know where it is. They take an Advil, they say, no, I say, it's within you, it's, it's related to biochemistry and you are able to uh, change that biochemistry within 30 of these deep breaths. Mm. And uh, then what happens is uh, amazing. You take one last breath in, you blow it off and you hold. Uh, you stop breathing after exhalation. 
And if you do this one, two, three rounds, you're able to stay three minutes without air in the lungs. That means you are going deeply within. You are changing it all. The brainstem comes alive. The survival comes alive. Then the adrenal axis, boom, reset of the body. Amazing. This is what the professors say. This can battle autoimmune diseases. This is a, a, a transformational technique that will change mental health care. I've been in those universities, there, 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 and it's all fundamental change, and you are at the command. Mm. Let's, let's put a hypothetical scenario for a second. Let's say you're, you're living in the heat and you don't have access to a cold shower or cold water, and you don't remember the breathing technique. Hypothetical question. You're in heat and you're not breathing this way. I got it. I got what it. What can we do with our mind? Ah, here it comes. That is beautiful. What can we do with our, what can we do with our thoughts? Yes. To transform anxiety, depression, yes. overwhelm. Or do we need to be physically in our body with breath and with cold to really uh, no. accelerate this? You don't need it. Don't say nobody because I ruined my business now. But <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there is more than meets the eye. Mm. The last study I did was just by thought, just using the thought in brain scans, having cold water coming to my skin and make my skin temperature without motion, without muscle traction, without deep breathing, just by thinking the skin temperature not going down. That is stress. Cold wait, wait, is wait, stress. Wait. So wait, you had, you had cold water come on to you and you kept the temperature warm on your body? Yes. So yes. you did it? <laughs> so how did you, what was your thought process? Exactly. Now, uh, now that is the answer for the person who cannot do breathing techniques yeah. and cannot go and into it's not, the ice. And it's not, it's not like running in the water like... And he is lost in the desert somewhere. Yeah, okay. So how do we do this? Death, where, can you death cool, valley. Can you cool yourself from heat and also warm yourself in the cold or is it only from cold to hot? No, it's a, a, after... A, I'm not a runner, but I did a marathon beyond the polar circle in mid-January, in short. I did that. And then I thought, hey man, uh, uh, I did it in cold, so I must be in control of the cold, which is temperature. So let's test if I'm able to take on a thermal stress of the heat, which okay. is temperature. Yeah. And half a year later, I was in the desert without drinking, and I did the marathon. No way. In the desert. With no water? Then, no water, no water. <laughs> and then what, the, 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 the beautiful thing, uh, the, uh, because there was present a doctor, physiologist, uh -huh. who measured me completely up while I was running, etc. cetera. And uh, he saw that my core body temperature in the cold remained the same and in the heat remained the same. So when you mean so, core body temperature, is this inside the skin, not on the surface? Yes. Inside the, the liver, lungs, yes. heart, and brain functioning was just in the uh, right temperature all were the you, time. Are you, are you able to heat up the external skin on ice? And I tell you, they, they, in New York, in New York, <laughs> in, a, in front of 300 people, a thermal imaging camera was put on my hand. And I wasn't aware if I was able to warm up my hand. They just asked me randomly, can you warm up your hand just by thinking? I said, what the heck? I just try it. I don't know. But I did it. I did it within a minute, 12 degrees up. Oh, my. What? You went up in temperature. That, yes. That is the power of the mind. So we what do you don't... Yes. What do you what do you think about when you're in extreme heat, extreme cold, to lower or or, or higher the temperature so you're not freezing or in, uh, uh, so exhausted of heat exhaustion? What is your mind going through in that process? That is confidence. 
confidence in the power of your own mind. That connects through the power of intention and it puts its will in command in your side of your brain over your body. And this is now the new science in Detroit showing. It's called top-down regulation. That's why they say transformational technique that will change mental health care. And Lewis, the importance of this uh, podcast, this interview, this coming together is to explain that the gravity is uh, endorsed by science that we are able to regulate our mood no matter what. How do we take command of our mind in those extreme hot, cold, anxious moments? Again, if you don't have the breathing technique, you don't have running, you don't have the therapy, what do you do in your mind then to warm something up with your hands? What are your, I'll tell what you your, this. What, is your pro, what do you say to yourself in your mind? It's like when you are in love, you don't think. You fly. You got enormous power to go from A to B. To the object of your love, you go. Nothing can stop you. We have to learn to love life. Mm. Then nothing will stop you. We are built to overcome any obstacle in our life to realize the beauty of our mind and soul. It's there. And I found it out because I, had to, uh, I lost my wife. Mm -hmm. I lost the emotion. I lost the purpose. I lost the love of my life. I was heartbroken to the bottom of the bottom of the bottom. And I learned to stand up and to find out what is not in the books, what is not what they teach us in our, in our schools. And we got to teach our children, the, the new generations, how to become happy, strong, and healthy, how to be in control of life, how to love life as the greatest thing that is because when you need it, you will appreciate it so much. And then you know what is God, what is presence, what is divine. You know it all. You know the purpose of life. It's not production and bridges. And it's beautiful to make all these things. But man, it's time that we get even with our divinity, with the presence of what we call God. And it's for every human the same thing. It's being able to guarantee happiness, strength, and health for our children. Let's experience that beyond any doubt so break it down for me when you're running in the desert or you're in the polar ice caps running or you're putting your hand on ice do you not think then and you more feel life feel love is that what you're telling me that you you experience joy and that joy regulates your temperature or what is that thought process for that three minutes with your hand on the ice are you going to a happy place in your mind? Are you thinking about your family? Like, what is that thing you're doing? That, you know, if uh, every time when you go into a cold shower and uh, you go into discomfort, <laughs> you, you learn to deal with the stress mechanisms inside the brain. And when you really need them, then you know how to connect and make yourself from the inside you got from the outside, you don't see anything. But from the inside, suddenly you become very strong because you are regulating the hormones, the adrenal axis. And the adrenal axis is uh, able to get you in an altered consciousness and physical power. And then you are more than what we think we are. That is logical only. Only mm -hmm. we never go into discomfort, so we don't know when something happens, when the shit happens, or when an accident happens, or something very severe, or war situations. We ha haven't trained for that. So going into the cold, I, t I tell everybody the, the cold and then the ice water, really, it, it brings you into natural condition yeah. of the mind to deal with stress and pain. How important is it then? I mean, I love that you're saying this because my entire life, I have tried to put myself under controlled pain, controlled embarrassment, controlled physical pain, not to where I hurt myself, but a controlled sense of discomfort, not feeling good. I don't like this moment, but it's painful enough because I'm going to grow past that so that when, exactly. pain, so when pain comes my way, I yeah. can handle it emotionally, emotional resilience. 
Yes. How, how important is it for us to desire pain in a, in a controlled manner on a daily basis? Or is it something we do once in a while that will help us? Is it, should it be daily or once in a while? I think it is very addictive. <laughs> I'm not talking sadomasochism, <laughs> but uh, I'm talking this. Uh, uh, right now, there is a crisis in the world uh, with pain and painkillers. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't know how to deal with that. That is a, a and I, I, I've shown now recently in a brain scans how to tap into the pain center, which is the endocannabinoid system within our brain. It's in the brain stem, the deepest part of our brain. We don't no longer know how to deal with it. So how much pain do you have to endure to neurologically connect with the pain center in order to bring pain through activation of opioids to a controlled level? Hey man, you will feel it naturally. It's once again, one of those things they should teach people, pupils, our kids, this in school, controlled. It's not about pain as we know it, like negative. Pain is a signal that you do not have the right connection yet. But part of the power of the mind is learning how to alleviate our own pain. Because painful situations will come in life and you better are prepared. You gotta be ready. And we know how. Yeah. What would you say are three skills you wish you would have had earlier in your life growing up? And what three skills do you think everyone should learn to master to live a happier, stronger, healthier life? What, what skills? Exactly that. Is that ha happiness, the skill of being happiness and to be able to guarantee it is the control over the hormonal system. We showed that in the university, how to tap into the endocrine system, the hormonal system. That is happiness. Uh, you know, when you are depressed, you get a lack of dopamine and uh, serotonin deregulation. Now you are in control of that. So you bring it in balance. So there is no depression anymore. There is balance and the pressure is back on. That is happiness. You become very happy if you are able to regulate your own mood and able to face difficult situations flawlessly. You become happy and you pass it on to others. You healing others and that comes and blesses your soul. And that makes us very happy. Healing others makes us very happy. That is one. Two. The strength, the strength is the ability to generate energy and to stay in control in, in any situation where dealing with impact. Now, the cold to me showed me how to bring up energy continuously but, uh, to be able to sit for hours in ice, to sit uh, uh, easily for an hour in ice water and be okay with that. That is the control of the energy management inside because it needs uh, combustion. And you do that at will. It's not the body who does it, it's your will. You're the neurotransmitters of your will uh, activating the uh, endocannabinoid system, uh, the adrenal axis, and then suddenly no pain, you feel euphoric and you got all the energy. That is power. So that, that is, uh, 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 that is uh, energy, power, strength, uh, that is. And then you got health. Health, the ability to tap into the immune system on all the three levels. There are three levels. And two levels were thought in medical science impossible to access. And now I know how to do it. And I showed it in uh, scientific trials, medical trials. So it is beyond speculation. Mm -hmm. If I go back to the purpose of life, which I was looking for when I was a young kid, then I would have given that kid who is so anxiously requesting, asking from the heart, what is the meaning of life? I, I see war, I see depression, I see cruelty, I see pollution. What is the meaning of life? It is happiness, strength, and health and healing others through your being healthy, mm. strong, and happy. 
it's hard to heal others if you're not happy, strong, and healthy. Exactly. You can't, exactly. You can't heal someone else when you're depressed, weak, and sick. That, there it is. Because it, in the end, you pass on, you transmit your energy. And if that energy flows, you, you, you make people flow in their energy again, and then they are de-blocked. When they say they are de-blocked, then disease comes on, the ease, being at ease or disease. And disease is being blocked. The energy doesn't run uh, right. There is wrong chemistry going on. And, uh, uh, and people don't know how to solve it. Then if you got a sane somebody, a healthy, very, uh, you know, energetic there, and then he is able to touch you. And then this, this social distancing is really not good because people need to touch each other. Yeah. It's neurology. It's neurology. Oxytocin comes in. Oxytocin makes the blood flow go in. And then the blood flow is nice and okay. Love is the answer. What do you think happens to us when we distance ourselves from others? That, when we distance, and uh, they had uh, studies on mice. Uh, uh, mice have a 20% uh, 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 a 20, uh, possibility to have uh, breast cancer. And then... Uh, with, uh, with, di nothing... with, with distancing from other mice? No, no, no. Just... It's always there in general, with mice. In general, gotcha. In general. But if you put mice together, then, the, uh, then it stays benign. But if you separate them and have them live on their own, it becomes like 80%. Oh, really? Yes. What happens inside is that the biochemistry, it needs others. We are social beings, not for nothing. We are social beings growing from millions of years, and now they begin to artificially keep us from each other. That is not good. It's against nature. It mm. will cause uh, deficiencies, uh, depression, hormonal uh, deregulation, uh, etc. Uh, uh, too, too, too much things are happening here, and yeah. it's not good. I'm a dropout from school, but now I'm teaching the professors and the doctors in all the world that we have an ability to tap into the deepest part of the brain and solve all the matters mm. where, uh, 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 related to mental disorders and having no control. Wow. And there is no pill, no medicine involved. It's your own awareness, your own power. And then you get into the cold and, and the breathing, and we skip the breathing and the cold at a certain moment. We get in our innate control uh, by our mind, the way the establishment doesn't like it, but we, the way we should have to, and, uh, to confront ourselves with any stressor happening in the world to take care of our yeah. beloveds. Yeah. Well, the establishment doesn't like it because it's not making them money. If you solve that, 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 that is the disease. That is the big disease, though, withholding. And I think making money, very nice, great. But uh, I don't want pills. I don't want medicine. I want happiness, strength, and health. If you are happy, how much money do you need? You see? How much cars do you need? How much of this? If you're happy, you're happy. Yeah. So if you are able to regulate your own mood, and we found the compelling evidence of the key components of the autonomous processes in the brain related to emotion itself. I want it out there. I want st be uh, professors and doctors, prove me wrong, guys, because we got it approved already yeah. in the science, but now we are with the establishment. So the establishment is there, it's very nice. You can make bridges and big buildings and, and, and all that and shoot people to the moon. Let's get, begin and start guaranteeing happiness, strength and health, because yeah. it's there, boom. Yeah. There, true. your work and my work uh, co collide Absolutely. positively. Absolutely, man, it's amazing. Where do you feel the most loved in your life? Mm. 
I, I just loved uh, your walk here. Yeah? <laughs> love, 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 love. The love uh, I think you're a very lovable person. <laughs> you're weird. a big bear. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I get to meet people like you. Yeah. And that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, that's very lovable, but also very powerful. Because mm -hmm. in the end, love is the greatest power in the yeah. universe. Yeah. Uh, if you are in love with somebody, then uh, you fly. Fly. There is no thinking anymore. You just, you, nobody can stop you. Fly. So that love is the biggest one. And that love you got, not only for your woman, you got it also for your children. Yeah. You got it for, uh, and we should have it for nature. Mm. And, but, because then you don't need, even need to respect. You love it. You're not going to damage it. Yeah. You see? And we lost that because we lost the connection. Yeah. We are wrongly schooled in the, uh, from the beginning off. And so the school, like the school of greatness, it starts in the primordial, uh, in the primary school, primordial, primary, uh, the primal. Uh, let's not have them just uh, uh, being taught in history, language, and, uh, yeah. uh, 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 and mathematics. Teach them love. Teach them love, composed Connection. by scientific endorsed re reality, wherein they are able to tap into the immune system, endocrine system, to guarantee happiness, strength, health. Happiness is endorphins and uh, uh, dopamines and all that. Uh, 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 the health is the control over the uh, uh, tapping in into the immune system in yeah. all the levels. We have shown, we have shown, we have shown, and uh, and the strength is the adrenaline uh, at your service, mm -hmm. like the uh, adrenal axis uh, at yeah. your, in your conscious world, uh, that it is all there. Yeah. And with that comes the rest too. We should not be indiv individualized through schooling to become a tough motherfucker hitting with the elbows to the others because you got to yeah. compete and you become strong there. That's not strength. That is aggression. Yeah. Strength is where we help each other to become the best of ourselves. That's true. And it's all there now. That's true. There we are. What's your greatest fear? Greatest fear. For you personally. <sighs> Greatest fear. Wow. Uh, no one's asked you that one, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, so. No, but uh, if you're being, uh, it's always a different question. Yeah. It, 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 it looks like the same. But, you know, a fearless state, I can explain it like this. A, a fearless state of being is a being that is uh, able to go with his conscious will into any part of the brain. What, what is that? That is the sixth sense, the sixth sense. We have uh, shown the sixth sense, seventh sense, and eighth sense now, uh, 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 and uh, uh, through scientific uh, mechanisms, we are able to detect different neurological networks in the in the brain related to the body. Yeah. It's rooted in the body. It's, uh, of course, uh, uh, commanded by the brain. We call it subconscious. And there you've got the sixth sense, the seventh sense, and the eighth sense. What uh, sixth sense is the, uh, I make a shortcut, uh, is the ability at will to enter into any part of uh, our brain. We thought there was only 16% being able to be controlled by our will in our brain and now we have shown in brain scans in Germany uh, with one of the uh, two best uh, uh, brain scans of the world yeah. to create 100% neural activity. Mm. That means we are able to create at will consciously 100% uh, 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 neural activity within the brain and thus suddenly the willpower is able to enter into the right neural active uh, parts of any part of mm -hmm. that brain. That means we are able to go past the space, time, space barrier of our thinking. And that is the sixth sense. The sixth mm -hmm. sense knows in the future. Sixth sense knows what happened, all with mathematical precision beyond Einstein, anything. This is, it's going to be the future, I, I will tell you. There is the fearless state of being because your brain and your body are connected to be able to, uh, uh, to uh, interact and confront uh, with anything that is going to happen in the future. 
Fear only exists because we are too much into our time, space, little area, narrowed consciousness. And when there is narrowed consciousness uh, in the future, things will happen wherein you will have to go to another part of the brain to solve the matter at that moment. Those are the life lessons, yeah. but it is too narrowed. So that's why the fear comes in. And the fear says only one thing, go to me and find out why I'm here. It's a signal, like pain is a signal. Yeah. Psychologically, fear is there. So that, that is number, number six, the sixth sense. And uh, you can feel it as confidence. If you are confident, then that is because you are able to go past the time space barrier, time, past the narrowed consciousness. Because that's the narrowed consciousness right, right. all about all this uh, uh, enlightenment shit and all that so far away. It's right over here, right yeah, now. Yeah. Feel confident. Number six. Uh, number seven is the immune system, proprioception. Neurological network thought of inaccessible. Now we have shown to make it accessible for people. It's the immune system. So uh, what is the immune system? It's a detection system to get the wrong intruders out, right. like in a moment, not waiting five to seven days, and, uh, and then the flu comes in, and the fever, and this, and it ha needs five to seven days to get into the specific answer and get a, 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 a molecule on the membrane of the intruder, and then suddenly you have no flu anymore. No, you can do that in five minutes. Wow with your will, which was able to go past the time space. Uh, so that's number seven. Yeah. We got that, uh, we, and we have shown in science, I'm only bringing things together. And then number eight, we lately, I lately showed in uh, uh, brain scans in uh, Detroit, uh, how to tackle top down a stressor out of your body. And uh, that, that is the power of the mind. And mm -hmm. I tell you, I'm just at the beginning. Right. <laughs> yeah, man. What is, what is your personal fear, though, of your, for you? Uh, for, I, I got a family with six. I'm in fear all day long. Really? With a, a one and a half. Running around. I, I, uh, running, uh, if you, he, he doesn't think. He does. <laughs> we think. And so uh, he goes so fast out of your sight. So I, I, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah. So you're afraid of... Something happening to your family or... Oh, yes. Really? Yes. Oh, and that makes me very attentive. I'm learning of him right now. Because once again, I'm just at the threshold of the power of our mind. Yeah. And to dive deeper and explore more. In the end, it is to guarantee love uh, 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 or composed by happiness, strength and health guaranteed to the, our children and then getting into the power of the mind this is part uh, this is the new uh, dimension where i got in they saw me in germany uh, activating not even me uh, i'm just pro giving the protocol right and then they uh, have these people in brain scans and they uh, suddenly see that uh, uh, at will make it a disco all the neural activity everywhere creating the right neural biochemical uh, environment for the willpower which is in the end neural activity to enter into any part of the brain which is not possible if we are too much the way we are schooled is narrowed mm -hmm. down then the 25% uh, less of blood flow goes to the other part thus it is not alive we make it alive and uh, suddenly the power of the mind yeah. is able to naturally go where it needs to go into the so-called subconscious mm -hmm. submarine. You are a submarine to go in and adventure and to find out what there is uh, going on in yeah. there. Yeah. In the end, it's for the soul to be able sure. to flourish and to be. And there is all the power of the love. Mm. I'm curious, who was, uh, who was more influential in your life growing up, your mom or your dad? And what was the greatest lesson they taught you? Mm. My dad was like a gypsy. A gypsy, free, no rules, no this, no that, let it go, indulging into life. And my mother was very strict. Really? Yeah, naive, very Catholic, uh, every Sunday to the... And you have to do it so and so and so and so. 
And I, uh, yeah, I love my mother. As, I think she is my, my, if I have a guru, a teacher, it was her. Wow. And now it's my dog. Your dog? Yeah, because my mother is, she's ruling. She's still there and she's great. We, we love our mothers. And uh, my, my dog, when I go into the mountains, in freezing temperatures, the Iceman and the go, go Mount Everest and all that. My dog is three times faster. <laughs> in the mountains, she is playing around. It's minus 20, minus 25 uh, in Celsius, which is freezing, freezing cold. And she's just playing around. Wow. So I'm learning of, uh, 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 of uh, yeah, if there, is, if there is a teacher, it's her. But in the end, it's the cold itself. The cold is my teacher. What is the greatest lesson the cold has taught you? The cold is merciless but righteous. So that's a, and it's always there. You can always depend and always you are able to tap into the depth of yourself by going through the initial reflexes of the cold coming up, up, upon you. And then suddenly you get a deep peace and deep power. I think it is a, a, a noble force. Wow. Finding instances in your day-to-day -day life to delay gratification, to cause a little discomfort or some pain in a controlled setting. I'm not saying you need to starve yourself forever, but control pain every day with your food. What there you, you got it. Right? Right. Totally right. This is the new dimension in science going to be. And that is what we are doing right now with uh, uh, the uh, research in San Francisco on the DNA through showing that hormetic exercise. That is what you were talking about, about uh, delaying, uh, uh, delaying pleasure, delaying mm -hmm. whatever. You know, it could be uh, in sports, uh, you do more, or uh, you, you look for a certain kind of stress and you do it consciously. And that makes the body alert, very alert. And then uh, systems become more uh, efficient. And with uh, food, it is so that they did uh, uh, research on mice, that mice live two times longer when they are restricted in their diet. Two times longer. Wow. Because the body becomes more efficient. Uh, 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 food can be a killer. That's it. And uh, use food well, and it's medicine. Use food well, and you get a lot more energy. Use food wrong, it kills you. You become obese, you become uh, weak, vulnerable. It doesn't uh, make you satisfied. It doesn't, it, it's not part of your pleasure of life. So why choose food and take it in uh, unconsciously? Like, well, well, yeah, I have to eat, I have to eat. It's nothing. It's bl blubber. Yeah, it's like we we eat it for momentary pleasure, but it causes long-term pain. Exactly. Whereas if we create momentary pain, we have long-term health and pleasure. Exactly. Well said. Wow. <laughs> a, a doc, Dr. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. David Sinclair, who I've had on a couple of times as well, he's a, one of the leading scientists out of Harvard who does a lot of this research on, on mice and giving them food and all these tests. And he's, he might've been the one who actually did that test. Yes. But, but he talks about that. Um, if you really want to cure cancer, I mean, cure diseases, eliminate inflammation and get rid of all the junk in your body, eat That's less, it. eat yes. better. Uh, how many calories do you think you eat a day? So you eat like around three o'clock and then maybe a dinner or sometimes once a day. Or yeah, sometimes no dinner at all. Uh, 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 you know, I, I just feel how much I need mm. and I will absolutely not overeat. Um, how much calories, how, how much calories are, say, so, uh, sometimes I just eat four slices of good uh, full corn bread with a big mound of butter and <laughs> peanut butter on top. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Yeah, there you go. That's all you'll eat. What, um, yeah. What will you drink throughout the day? Do you, do you drink a lot of water? Do you drink tea? Do you drink coffee, matcha? What do you drink? Yeah, I, I, I like coffee in the morning. Oh, yeah. And then uh, water. 
what is is great and uh yeah i take it and but i have to say uh, uh water liquids and all hey all great but breathing consciously is really food mm. now this is another aspect i mean the food problem in the world could be solved through this what i'm going to uh, tell you right now uh, deep breathing deeper conscious breathing influences the mitochondrial aerobic dissimulation the aerobic aerobic is oxygen you know dissimulation is the process of oxygen getting into the energy factories in the cell the mitochondria and it creates uh, molecules atp adenosine or triphosphate whatever it is it is <laughs> molecules it's energy now listen cancer lives uh, anaerobically anaerobically we are able to produce two molecules when we get aerobic dissimulation we can multiply the amount of energy with, with 19 times 19 times so 38 instead of two molecules 38 molecules if you breathe the right way you are able to increase through conscious uh, uh, oxygen uh, 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 bringing in uh, the amount of energy uh, uh, through molecules like 19 times this should be researched because it it doesn't cost money to make food uh, to make molecules food equals energy deep right breathing also equals energy so what i'm so, hearing you say is that we could if we breathe better we could have more energy and we don't need as much food and, and uh, you know how crazy this can go there are people they call themselves breatharians okay and uh, and they don't even need to eat anymore no way come on you have to get a breatharian on your podcast <laughs> i never heard of i never heard of this so wait a minute you can, look it up look it up you can, and then, you can breathe and cure hunger there it is there it is yeah you have to and, eat eventually right you can't just go with, yeah I, I, I mean it's it, it's going to be cut like a hundred times the amount of what you eat normally oh, wow. and thrive well that is Breathe, possible. Breathe areas. A, yeah, breath areas. Breath areas. Okay, yes. I'm, I'm making a note of this. Do you know, Just do look you know it any, up. You know any breath areas? And, and, and get the signs on it. Okay. Because this, you know, one and one is two. Yeah. If we are able to show that breathing better consciously makes great amounts of energy, thus the food intake can go down with say 50 percent hey man we saved the world so when we breathe just so i'm aware of this when we do uh, uh 10 to 15 minutes of wim hof breathing or any type of deep breathing like this what does that do to our mitochondria it multiplies the mitochondria it multiplies the atp the okay. molecules the energy factories begin to become more effective and, and thus they create more molecules and when we have dissimulation and when we have more molecules or more that, energy we don't need as much food is that what i'm hearing you say that is the logic yes because food is to, to bring us more energy throughout the day yes and you know what and and, and and in a lot of cases food is is a lot of shit in the food so we eat food to get more energy but then a whole lot, whole chunk of that energy is needed to get rid of the additives. So in the end, we create a deficit of nutrients and vitamins for the body. Mm. So uh, th th those are very crucial things because we do it every day. Yeah. So the body, the digestion system is working harder to process the bad foods as opposed to processing the good foods to go to where it needs to go throughout the body. Yes, and it takes a, 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 quite a chunk of energy to process it. It's like garbage coming in. Then, yeah, you need to, uh, to get rid of it. 
So that energy is lost and food should be energy. Now it is plus garbage, then part of that food is going to be a junk, big junk, is going to be used to get rid of the garbage. And besides of that, it is a long term, it is of no good to get yeah. the wrong chemicals inside. It's like poison. You got to deal with the poison. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the, there's the Wim Hof diet. That's the next book in the future. Uh, I'm curious. You're known for mindset. You're known for breathing. You're known for body challenges, uh, helping get rid of uh, um, sickness and anxiety and stress and overwhelm. You're known for these things. Yes. I'm curious of your thoughts about relationships, something you're not as well known for. I know you in a more intimate way, but what have you learned from the breathing cold therapy that helps you in intimate relationships? You've had obviously challenging past with wife, uh, with mental health challenges who committed suicide. What have you learned now through this practice to help you fortify intimacy with your wife, your partner, and also fortify with your family, your kids and friends? Amazing, yeah, beautiful. Relationships. Uh, as I said in the beginning, you need touch. It's oxytocin. But sometimes people get uh, something in between. And that uh, when something gets in between, then you don't touch as much. And you begin uh, something in the mind gets out and uh, it's like distance. Mm. And that uh, distance in the mind. Yes, through, uh, in the mind, through the biochemistry insights. And that uh, what I say, if you do these breathing exercises, you get rid of the wrong things in your biochemistry. I tell everybody, do the breathing. You become the alchemist. Not only the alchemist, it's good for your relationship mm -hmm. because you get rid of that what makes the distance go. This is in an unseen terrain. It's a vibrational. But when you are blocked within yourself, you're not able to... Uh, get your energy over the right way. And sensitively, you can't see it, but it's there. And you, uh, uh, you are in distance, you are in your mind. And you keep on making these loops in the mind instead of just breaking it. I come here, darling, oh, I love you so much. And, <laughs> she, and, and your, your wife or your partner knows if you are bullshitting, yes or no. <laughs> So, what, so do you, what do you do when uh, your, one of your kids is angry at you? Dad, you're, I don't like you when you did this. Or your wife or your partner is mad that you didn't do something. What do you do um, to overcome just, that? Yes. Uh, if, I, uh, if I go into <laughs> the cold water, then this worrying about that is over. I am, it's too cold. <laughs> You I can't, can't think, think about the stress, yeah. Yes, you can't think about that stress. You're dealing with this stress. <laughs> and that's, that, uh, that makes you go away of that what you are feeding. Oh. And then it becomes smaller and suddenly, oh, I love her so much. Because your energy is fully within yourself, clean, nice, there. We are loving beings if it comes to us unconditionally. We are unconditional beings who are in love with it all. But then comes the, sh then comes the stress, and we don't know how to deal with it. And then, uh, you are guilty, you are guilty, you are guilty, etc. No, we got to solve our uh, blockages inside. And uh, the cult really knows how to yeah. cut off whatever you got inside, and uh, <clears throat> you got to be there. And the breathing, the breathing exercises, they are very good to regulate. I mean, you become very shallow in your breathing if you are angry, if you are blocked. You, you, when you are anxious, <laughs> you are like a, a, a shallow. But when you get into the deep breathing, you break the loop. And the loop is inside the head. And that in mind, neurology, if you go into deep breathing, suddenly goes into deeper parts of the brain. Mm. There is the feeling and there is the being. Just being, no words, just being. And you feed it with blood flow, doing deep breathing. Thus you break the loop. 
And then your wife knows it. Your partner will know it because they feel. They know you every inch of your body and your mind. So you can't bullshit nobody. Cleanse yourself and you are open for love once again. <laughs> Do you have any mantras that you deal with? Let's say you're traveling and you're not able to access the cold water oh. in the moment. Do you, when yes. there's a stressful moment that comes up or your yes. wife is angry or whatever, yeah. or your ego gets the best of you and you're shallow, what's yeah. Wim Hof's mantra to get back to whole, happy, strong, healthy? Yes, this, this is interesting. It's a, I think the power of the mind, which I'm showing right now in these studies, uh, which is able to defy uh, external stress just by using the mind that, that I think little children be uh, 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 in good traditions of where religion uh, God has a place uh, then uh, before they go to bed they ask God subtly in a prayer to be uh, 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 tomorrow that it is going to be beautiful and nice and, and great that is the power of mantra, that's the power of uh, 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 the subtle power of the intention. That is the power of the mind. We lost that. We, we get in too much TV, too much iPhones, too much this, too much that. Where is the prayer again? The prayer now is no longer related as the church yeah. uh, teaches us because we get so many religions, so many uh, differences. So I got to the neurology inside the brain scans. And I found a universal way to tap into the power of the mind, the subtle power of the mind, the power of our intention. And if that is once again working within us, then nobody wants to do evil things. But people get frustrated. They don't know how to get out. And they, uh, uh, you are guilty and you and this and that. And, uh, no. Once you become subtly in command through your own mind, over your own body, then, uh, uh, then uh, that is uh, what I wish uh, everybody to do again. That yeah. is my mantra every day. So when I go in an aeroplane, I always pray, have a little prayer. I say, tuum umbrum alarum. That is Latin, because I got something with Latin. And it says, <laughs> God, spread your wings uh, and bring me safe to the other side. Wow, that's cool. And I, 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 most times I'm clapping when we land it, and nobody is clapping anymore. It's amazing when you go up in the air, you come down, and everybody should clap. Not for the pilot only, but for being safely on the ground, because it's magic. It is magic. And we actually uh, disturb a lot of our physiology throughout life because of uncontrolled stress. Mm. Now, I brought this man back into uh, learning to uh, control his stress hormone. And we have shown in, uh, in the university, uh, people lying in bed, controlled stress hormone, producing more adrenaline, lying in bed, being high like you were right now, more than somebody in fear going into its first bungee jump. Mm. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's control over the hormonal system. And that actually, the stress is also able to block and to intervene with our uh, physiological processes in the depth of our body. And we have no control. Now we can retain, regain control over the deepest, not only of these uh, physiology, but also the brain. Right. How often do you practice this breathing strategy? I mean, there's lots of different strategies you have, but how often do you practice the one we just did with me? I like to do it uh, <coughs> actually uh, uh, this type, this way, not uh, not too much. Not too much. But I'm once into a, once a week, once a month, once uh, a day. Whenever I feel. Okay. Uh, years and years, I saw all the lights and electricity and images and all that. I can retrieve it anytime. Uh, right now, I do uh, a lot of uh, conscious breathing. What does that look conscious like? breathing is during the day. <sighs> because now I know it's learning uh, to uh, control the alkalinity, the pH level within the body. 
it's good for that. And if you really have nasty matters, issues in the tissues, then you are able to, uh, like depression, anxiety, then you are able to tap in and you know that this one works. Right. And uh, uh, it works. We, yeah. we are doing neurological mm. brain research very soon. And uh, it's because they see this works. If someone's feeling overwhelmed and stressed on a day-to-day -day basis and they can never feel to get rid of the stress, they try to meditate, they try to get massages, they try to do all these other things, but they don't try to breathe, what's something they can do if they have a minute throughout the day? A minute? A minute or two. You know, a minute oh, to four five. minutes. Four minutes. Cool. Okay, four minutes. Four I minutes. got a great exercise. And they're four overwhelmed, minutes. they're stressed, they're freaked out. Well, later, I'm going to do this with you. Okay. Four minutes. Perfect. Um, uh, do, uh, uh, should I uh, say it right now? Sure. Uh, 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 yeah. Or we do it and then we, we talk can. about it. We yeah, could yeah. do that. Uh, uh, but, uh, it's <laughs> not so difficult. Yeah. Okay, I talk, talk about, about it. it. <clears throat> what I did back I then. just uh, make you do re uh, relax, uh, you mm -hmm. know. You're not relaxed because you're full of stress. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I say just loosen up the body a little. Stand. Just mind your body for now. Just four minutes. So shut up there. Just be and feel who you are. You, got, you feel your feet on the ground, your arms, and that's it. And now breathe in. And let go. Should we stand up and do Is it standing or is it sitting? Oh, yeah. Shall we do this? <laughs> Let's just stand up right here and keep the mics on. Yeah. Okay, okay. you do that. That'll work. And you should be able to do push-ups. Okay, cool. We can do it too. Yeah. We can make it work. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. And what we do right now is uh, do make a physiological reset of the nervous system. Okay. And the shape of the body is becoming better. All right. And it is no effort. All right. It feels like, hey, I can go on. What's happening? <laughs> That's chemistry. Okay. Going okay. into the... Uh, try to deepest of body, body Sarah, and learning okay. how to control stress hormone. So if we are too stressed, we got to go to the mechanism who is producing the stress and we have no control. Mm. With this one, you reset the stress hormone mechanism, right. the brain stand, okay. within four minutes. Okay. And <clears throat> afterwards, you feel good because the connection is there and... The, uh, I'm not saying feeling is understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. So standing. Uh, let's start Sarah's there. Sarah's going to test it as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you the, 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 might need to open the door and have space out there for you, Sarah, if you, if you, unless you can do Are you able to do push-ups over there? I'll make it work. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll move the camera. I'll make it work. I'll, yeah, you should I'll be able to do. <laughs> yeah, I'll be good. To do that. <clears throat> yeah, I'll be fine here. <sighs> Do I need to stand here for the camera? Too? Okay. Cool. Uh, t a timer on? She's got it. Yep. <clears throat> Is it on? Okay. I say now. Breathe in. Let go. Breathe in. 28. Get him in again. Just go with the flow. No minding. Just go. You feel what you feel as you're breathing. We are ox energizing the body right now. It's getting into all the cells. Not only the carbon dioxide is going down, oxygen is getting in. Body becomes alkaline. What do you need to perform? You need alkalinity. Because of the oxygenation, alkalinity comes in. That's what you need for, uh, to perform. Now, because you are so stressed, you are not uh, connected to the brainstem. The, in the brainstem, there is the directory of the hormonal system. We will consciously go into a physiological state of not having oxygen, because we're going to do push-ups after exhalation that turns on the brainstem and resets whatever is causing the stress, the uh, hormonal system, 
the stress hormone adrenaline epinephrine cortisol and it is controlled it resets it okay yeah and you get a good figure out of it yeah you got already good figure okay no minding about that go on 15 40 let it go go into it 30 get your mind on you know what the mind is able to do just get your mind on into the cell i do my best the best will come about and it's no competition it's just going into the depth of the body and the brain 11 10 9 take him in come on lewis And how? Lewis Howes. <laughs> That's the way. Yeah, it's fun too. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <clears throat> Here comes the last one. Pull it in. Let it go. Stop. Push ups. Just go. Looking good. No air in the lungs. Mind is resetting. The hormonal system is resetting. There is no doubt. Amazing. Good. Good. And relax. This is the way to get into the depth of the brain, the directory of stress hormone. <sighs> And all cells. Wow. Yeah, man. It's the oh. adrenal axis completely under control. That's crazy. Four minutes. How much did it take? What? Four five seconds. No, oh, the total with the breathing. Oh, less than four minutes. So anybody can do this. Wow. Gets a good figure. Resets the nervous system. That were good push-ups, by the way. Yeah, all the way chest to the Yeah, yeah, I saw them. I have a, I broke my wrist playing football, so I have to do one on the fist. But, wow. Yeah, I did 35. And I can usually maybe do like, I don't know, 20, you know, without having to take a break. And, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah amazing. So. It's good. You know, uh, you, we talked about stress, uncontrolled stress for people yeah. who are living in stress. Wow. And uh, for them... This is excellent because Four minutes, yeah. it trains the body and it trains the brain to become consciously under your uh, at will, under your control. Yeah, because if you're if you're stressed out and you do this for four minutes, I mean, I, I've got a sweat, I've released any tension. You can't think about anything else. Yeah, that's it. You have to focus on <laughs> yeah. beating your record or trying to do as many as you can. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't see why you'd be stressed afterwards. Or at least you'd be able to release a lot. You test it out. You will probably meet, uh, you know, many people who are stressed and, uh -huh. you know, famous or stre uh, um, a lot of uh, responsibility, yep. pressure and all that, creating a... Uh, 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 and just do the four minutes. Yeah. And you, saw, you see the miracle of life happening <laughs> in front of your eyes. So you're breathing for four minutes or do you breathe for three and a half and then do... No, it's like two minutes... Two two minutes two and a half minutes okay cool and then you do that crazy and then you, yeah two minutes of breathing and then go in the push-ups and, and you get a nice figure out oh, of man. it there you go and, and, and you stress hormone is directly under your control that's the way nature meant it to be by really? the way but we alienated from nature so we don't know and then it runs into loops and we don't know how to break through this one breakthrough amazing how many can you do from that uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> I did, uh, it, you never get stressed. You don't have to do it. <laughs> I, I, I do a lot. Uh, uh, when, I, when I want, I, regularly I do 50, but I Five did 100 wow. uh, uh, as well. 100? Yeah. No breath. No breath. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, the body is amazing. Yeah. The chemistry is amazing. And what we are able, capable of doing is amazing. Just do it. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Um, why did you get into this? And how did you get into this type of research and just testing for yourself in the first place? You know, uh, every person has got his own, uh, his own search to do. When I did my search, I felt there is more. I don't know what. Mm. There's more. But that creates a drive. Even though you do not know, it creates a drive to get to know. <laughs> you become a soul searcher. Mm -hmm. And then you come and stumble upon things. And many, uh, I visited many religions, traditions, cultures, etc., uh, languages, uh, uh, disciplines, esoteric disciplines, re uh, yes, philosophies, etc., all. But they never were really capable of making that connection which. Uh, originated from that drive. I there is more. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but there is more. Until I uh, met the cold water. <laughs> the cold water made me is merciless, but righteous. It brings you direct in contact uh, with uh, a deeper part of your own physiology, uh, the way nature meant it to be. And then I knew from the inside, this is it. I don't know why. But this is it. It feels. Feeling good is being connected. So <clears throat> the other day I came back and I felt the same. And from there I began to do it all winter long. I mean, winters here is no winter to me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> to me it's freezing temperatures, you know, frozen waters, and making a hole, bang, 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 and getting in. And it's sort of mystical. Right. And there I learned that if you d breathe deeper in the water, you are able to do so much more. You know, the impact of the water, of the, which is cold, is power, it's force. And you learn to breathe. And then you learn that by deeper breathing, you, t you learn to tune. You are able s suddenly to stay in the water for s so much more. Mm. Only 25 of these breaths, which you were doing right now, I was doing in the water. And then I could stay f oh, five, six, seven minutes under the ice. You're breathing under, in the water. In the, in the water. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's a, a Deep breaths in the water. Yep. You know, oxygen you need for combustion. Combustion is energy. So you learn to breathe deeper, and then the body's... Uh, uh, chemistry is becoming stronger, mm -hmm. alkaline, and then it adapts to the situation. Really? Not only in the cold, also in the heat, also in Mount Everest, also in any stressful situation. So if we breathe that way, like we just did or like what I did on the, on the couch, we should be able to feel fine in extreme heat or extreme cold or extreme stressful situations. Yes. It's all stress. Yeah. Hmm. And if we just regulate the chemistry inside, then it's able to adapt to the impact. Mm -hmm. And impact can be caused by, yes, heat, but also by grief. Or somebody has a gun on your head. Mm -hmm. That's stress. Absolutely. Yeah. And a war. Mm -hmm. Sexual abuse. Any of these Sexual things. abuse. Mm -hmm. Uh, any stress is rela uh, relates itself to chemistry, relates itself to force. Are we able to counteract on that? Yes. We have a, a power to adapt to the situation. And we can do that consciously. Mm -hmm. And how? Just do this. Because it has been shown that it works. Now, you wanted to get into the deepest, best podcast ever mm -hmm. that's what i want too so Bring let's it. get to the bottom of things okay and get into a new insight let's do it how i don't know but 
we adapt now. Mm-hmm. And you have done the breathing yes. up till now. And now I want to demystify, say, the limits of the brain, of the perception. Mm-hmm. And how? It's all here. So <laughs> I want to feel it. Mm. I want to see it. Yeah. And uh, I'm into this brain research. And I want also to show that it affects uh, expanding consciousness. Expanding consciousness is uh, associating uh, the uh, and connecting tubes within the brain, becoming more, changing your perception. What is consciousness? It's perception. But if you learn more, your perception becomes wider. That's mm-hmm. expanding consciousness. It relates into the brain that the neurology is connecting more. But if you are sick or too stressful or too conditioned, then it's not able to uh, connect more. Thus, you don't feel spirituality, you know. It becomes dull because it begins to be a loop. Yeah. How many times do you need uh, uh, to see from a loop not to become dull, you know? Right. It's logic, sense. So we have this capacity to get into the brain and to... Uh, to connect consciously uh, these all these channels, the neurology, mm-hmm. uh, ganglia cells, and uh, whatever they called, but they connect, and that spirituality, and that spirituality should be de-abstracted, and become a way of life for everybody accessible. We are going to show this. So I'm here once again to spread my mission but also to learn of you mm. uh, because I, I use your insights uh, as well. Right now, right here, your way of thinking and being, your, uh, whatever you, I'm, I'm sharing, but you are sharing too. Right. So, and we share this with everybody. And very soon we will show that spirituality is uh, de-abstracted. Mm. It's a great feeling. Of, lo- uh, of 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 channeling insight and it, 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 it's growing nothing will become ever dull anymore mm. is that possible let us challenge <laughs> yes <laughs> all signs and we are into that i'm yeah. talking to professor huberman about this and he understands mm. because he saw what i was doing and he he is uh, doing it uh, himself and first we are going to tackle some of the biggest problems in the in the u.s say mental problems sure. which is ptsd fear anxiety uh trauma depression are we able to tackle that yes sir we are going into the brain and this is what we do right now i already feel right now mm-hmm. that i've learned of this situation here and talking to you straight because we are just investigators of the life a- the soul mm-hmm. we talk from the heart we are defenseless therein, mm-hmm. and that's because we did it all already, and we showed ah, this macho thing. <laughs> we uh, g- get out of the way. We want uh, uh, soon. W- we will be not uh, here anymore. We want to find out everything there is, and let it be n- the way nature meant it to be. Mm. And this is uh, why I'm here. Right. So um, uh, I love it. I, I, love, I love it, it. too. <laughs> man. What are some key ways to create more joy in our lives? I feel like you do this in a beautiful way, but what would you say are things that the world should be doing more to create more joy? Uh, Just breathe, (laughs) breathe, take the cold shower and make sure you are in a command over your happiness, your strength and your health. If you got that because it's physically there and you connect with that, then you are able to pass it on to everybody. A happy man is not longing for anything. He is there. He doesn't go to war. He doesn't create chaos. He creates radiance of love and energy for everybody and mostly even for himself. I mean, it's almost egotistic because you're gonna feel so good. If you heal others, I feel so damn good every time when I see that people come from dark places and they tell me, man, I, I, I burst into tears of happiness. That's what I want. What are ways we can love ourselves more? 
I feel like self-love is something we should all be doing because the more we love ourselves, the more confidence and love we give to other people, the more we can heal people. How do you fill yourself up with love? I, I, you know, good exercise during the day makes you feel really proud. Body awareness, mm -hmm. deep body awareness that you are there and you went fully. I say, die once a day. <laughs> yeah. because the life comes fully there and uh, if i go and i don't feel it if i don't feel control man you can fight me in the uh, in in the barrel f full of water full of ice for an hour and that's not penitence it is i want to be in control over my physiology by my mind i want to love myself and the rest of the world of course, if I'm not in control, then who and what is uh, in control? Yeah. What, what are we in control of? Over our happiness, strength, and health. Boom. And that is the endocrine system, the immune system, and our energy processes. It's all there. Actually, we are in control by letting go. This is what I say to the people. Learn to control the mind is learning how to let go. Because the body is one with the mind, with the brain. It's one. And the body knows how to solve extreme impact of stress anytime. But you have to learn to let go. Don't stick with the ego, with the shallow thoughts of yours. There is much more than meets the eye. It is the subconscious, the autonomic nervous system. It's your destiny and it's calling for you and you just have to play, go along with the right, and uh, enjoy it. Why, why do you think we hold on to ego so much? Because that is our, uh, that, that's the quest of life. We have to go past our thoughts. And uh, if we learn to heal others and just to love others, then we will transcend our ego. Mm. That is what it teaches. It, uh, uh, what uh, uh, our reality wants, what our soul wants, is pure, pure love. The, imagine when you were in love with the, uh, uh, the partner coming into your life. Man, what is happening? That's your soul. Your soul is happening, and you love it. And, it's a, 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 and the other one, the partner, has the same thing. And then we get creations like little children and, <laughs> and, create, and all. But yeah, it, th that's the way it is. And it, 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 it's the light. We are the light. And that light comes. But we can create light more in us by uh, healing others and uh, increase it, uh, make it. It's not that it becomes bigger in ourselves. We become maybe famous and all, but the light really is not bigger than 20 years ago when nobody knew who I was. Right. It's not bigger. It is just I'm doing what I should do. And that feels uh, so great, uh, uh, deeply inside that I, I have no fear of dying. Because when I die, my soul is blessed. Man. It's Ooh. the way. And I want to show that now in science, in the DNA, in the ancestry, the ancestral genetical codes. This is my next book going to be to get, get back into nativeness. The nativeness is in harmony, being in harmony with nature outside. And that is in love with the, what provides all the goods for us for free. Yeah. And not abuse it and exploit it. And this is the way relationships should go as well. Because we are all part of the same Garden of Eden. Absolutely. I agree on that. I'm curious, Wim, you, what's the, the challenge you have yet to conquer? You've done so many different extreme challenges for your body, your mind. Is there a challenge you've, you look at that is your Everest, that is your like, ah, I've never climbed this, I've never done this thing. Are you still trying to tackle these challenges or has it evolved into something else now? Mostly it has evolved into something else, but physically, I, I, I'm 61. And now every year I was thinking at my birthday, I want to do, uh, you know, one minute more. 
<laughs> when I'm 62, it's 62 minutes. When I'm 73, 73 minutes. When I'm 96, 96 minutes. Uh, yeah. But then I thought, no, I can't do that. I can't do that already. That, that's, <laughs> that's not difficult. You know, the oldest participant right now in this method is 98 years old. Wow. Man, beat that. So that, uh, 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 what I want is, is within my life, show my Mount Everest, my more than Mount Everest, is to uh, bring happiness, strength, and health, the soul, the soul where it belongs, within our consciousness, within our experience, every day. I want to bring love as it is, no longer a mellow yellow kind of experience, strong love. Strong love, full of strength, very tender. <laughs> what's, the, what's the greatest fear for you that you've yet to conquer or embrace? I think the, the, the greatest fear, if you are a father, is the, uh, with your children. And uh, yeah, and the, and the rest, it's, it's flourishing now. It's uh, flourishing. My life is flourishing. And it has come from belief. When I had nothing, like very little money and a lot of stress and all, I still was happy because I was able to go into the cold and to the uh, breathing and the exercising. And that made me g uh, feel great without uh, uh, the aid of external compensation as we talked in the beginning. So uh, uh, what, what is, uh, I forgot the question. Greatest fear you've yet to conquer oh, yeah. or overcome. Yeah. I'm sorry. I ain't got no good. fears no more. <laughs> that, that it is. That's good, it's man. A, the fear. You know, I was just talking about the fear. When, when, when you are happy, you have no fear. When you are in love, you have no fear. You just want to do what you are uh, feeling. You, you go and there is no fear. You overtake everything because the power of the mind is related to the love uh, 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 which you experience, then suddenly everything in the brain is as uh, of usage of you to serve you to get to the uh, other side. So then fear has no uh, uh, place. Fear is a signal that something is wrong inside. Ooh, yeah. And we have to listen to the signal, internalize and solve the matter. Well, it could be an emotional fear, mental fear, physical fear. It could be a uh, viral, bacterial, uh, uh, spiritual. It doesn't matter. It's all fear. And the brain, the mind knows. It gives a signal. Don't kill the messenger. Go and follow the messenger. And then ask, what is the problem? Get this connection deeply within, like with the food. Talk to you. Your body is talking to you. And you are not listening. The fear is beautiful. It is a, is a, a very sensitive uh, messenger. Mm -hmm. It comes in all its fear. It comes to you. Please listen to me. No, don't kill me. Bam, bam, you go down. No, uh, I follow you. Okay, where are you? Oh, of course. That, that's internalization. That is meditation. Yeah. That we, uh, through the breath, we are able to go with the mind into deeper tissue. Because the breath is like water. It goes everywhere. When we go into deeper breathing, it goes deeper in the tissue. There could be the blockage, the inhibition. There the fear started. And then you are able to solve because we are the alchemists, all of us. So you don't fear death anymore. How old would you love to live towards, uh, to? I live as long as I will accomplish my task, is to bring love to the world. Are you trying to extend yeah. your life as long as possible? Or are you oh, just man, the most I will outlive life? everybody. <laughs> 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 There's no problem about that. I feel so alive and I, I am really, I am in control. I am in control and I will show in the DNA how to lengthen the telomeres responsible for the span of our life, the cell division. I am doing that now. In December, we get the results. So I'm actually on top of it. Mm. This is it. First, I make a study of something, and then I'm going to do it. 
There you go. I love that. What yeah, are you, what are you a couple of final questions for you, Wim? What are you most proud of about your kids? They are all working with me now. All of them. And, yeah, I mean the four, uh, the, the, four the, the biggest ones. ones. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The tall, uh, yeah, thirty-seven, thirty-five, thirty-four, and thirty-two. They're all working with me. That's and, pretty cool. Uh, yes, when I, I went to the uh, primary school to get them, I always uh, of them, uh, uh, Dad, act normal because in winter time I went uh, with my shorts to the school. And uh, you know the and doing handstands and splits on the on the courtyard <laughs> while the pe these people waiting on the side for the children smoking cigarettes saying uh, uh, look at that guy he's crazy uh, uh, you know uh, so I had to act normal now my daughters who are, uh, who are graduates they uh, 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 they uh, they are doing the Wim Hof method mm. as an instructor. Wow, and they, that's cool. they love it. So completely changed. Of course, that makes me proud. Wow. And uh, I, I just love it. And I all also teach them, be humble, simple, but very confident within you. You're able to heal a lot, so many people. Do mm. it. Go. That's beautiful. Yeah. And what's the thing you admire about your wife the most? The, oh, the, my wife right now? Oh, everything. She, she, she knows more of me than me myself. <laughs> so I want her around. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? Where is this? Uh, did you see this? Do you know how the computer works? Yeah. I'm helpless without her. <laughs> and, uh, you know, not really, but it makes life so much more quality. Yeah. It gives me so much more love, so much more this nest warmth. It's ridiculous. It's so beautiful. I don't need to travel. I don't need to climb mountains, etc. I want to stay in my garden. And now I, I, I got a new project. And the new project is I want to make an interactive garden. And with that, I will show that you, we are, uh, as humans, we all have gardens. Uh, for those who have gardens, uh, 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 we are able to experience the depth of our physiology, mentally and physically, in our garden. Hmm. I, I, I recently now, I, I made a project with rocks, 100 ton of rocks, uh, uh, piled it up to uh, four meters high almost, and you can jump into the cold pool. That means you become aware when wow. you jump in, and you gotta make the decision. That's the hormetic stress. The, uh, the, the, uh, how do you, the, yeah, yeah, delayed gratification. Uh, delayed gratification. And, uh, that it is. And at that moment, it's really there. And then you yeah. jump and you feel great because we are more than we understand of ourselves. But, and the cold water is able to open up everything. Yeah. So uh, I want to make an interactive garden where the flowers are beautiful but, and, the, and the sensations, the experiences go really to the primordial depth itself. Yeah, man. That, that, that's that's my new thing. Because I don't want to go away of my wife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to well, stay home. <laughs> get too comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, if I get too comfortable, you know what I'm doing. I get into the barrel. That's not good. for the wine, but for the icy water. Exactly. <laughs> and when I'm back on, I'm back on. Before we continue this video, make sure to subscribe below and turn on the notification bell right now so you don't miss out on these great videos every single day. What do you think are three things we can do on a daily basis? Simple things to help us have more control over our own mind. Yes, uh, I would say if you go to a shower, have a nice hot one, and then finish off cold, because that is vascular tra uh, vascular fitness. Your energy is going to run a lot better afterwards, and that means uh, when you sit, your energy flow, your blood flow is a lot better. So the uh, you f just feel better. Because the energy flows better. Yeah. That is vascular fitness. Did you say, did so say hot, shower, uh, end up. Did you say hot, cold? Yes, alternate is even better. Okay. Because then you open up, close, open up, close. 
and then you train the millions of little muscles in the vascular system which is helping the blood flow go through the system and then the heart rate goes down okay. with 20 30 beats a minute that means stress Bye bye, stress. You don't feel this stress anymore. You are in control of your own body, and your blood flow is running uh, to the cells, feeding the cells. You get a lot of energy, and that energy is without stress. You are simply there. That is what a cold shower can do. It's amazing. And uh, uh, from there, I say do 20, 25 minutes of deep breathing exercises because it has been shown that it uh, changes your uh, the chemistry you become actually the alchemist in the morning make sure that you are the alchemist you are the ruler within your own mind and your own body that is the mindset and uh, uh, the cold shower will help your vascular system which is running through everything you got and the, and the breathing is changing the chemistry. And then suddenly you find out that uh, uh, consciousness, the way we actually are within our brain is to be the master over our stress, over our health, over our happiness. It's all there. That is going to be the new paradigm. We are the, the directors or the presidents within our, uh, the kings and the queens. We shine the crown, the corona, the crown, the crown. That's who we are. We are that. We should behave like kings and queens and feel alike. And we should be able to rule over the world of what we see and bring love and prosperity. Yeah. There we are. And, and now it is science. So psychology goes over physiology. Michigan study, brain over body. It, it, it is there. And now's the time that the scientific world will have to take up that the defense system in every individual in the world is able to be altered within one day or half a day, wow. half a day. And I can channel a challenge any scientist to prove me wrong because we got all the data. And I'm, I'm t asking, please, scientists, look into this. If you want to talk inflammation, can we influence that what causes damage in a corona, uh, the coronavirus infection? That is the IL-1, the IL-11, the IL-6, the IL-8, interleukins. Uh, uh, those are interleukins, inflammation uh, markers. Can we bring them down with that, the dam uh, uh, control the damage? Mm -hmm. That's what we have shown. We have shown to bring it down. And that was for, uh, the first group in scientific research ever who was able to bring it down in such a way that they did not feel uh, the, the fever, uncontrollable shivering, nausea, vomiting, uh, uh, back aches, uh, muscle aches, and all caused by a bacteria injected. Mm. In the end, it causes inflammation. And the inflammation markers went down that the coronavirus virus and or a bacteria cause inflammation they go up the innate immune system can we control the innate immune system that in science was shown to be not possible at will and now we have shown at will to bring it down so that uh, that, that uh, inaugurates in the future and they have to uh, 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 to uh, 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 techniques that enable people massively all over the world to be much more into influencing their uh, uh, innate immune system and therefore uh, bringing down the damaging factors of inflammation yeah. and control their immune system a lot better so the viruses through the uh, uh, white blood cell increase, which we also uh, uh, through science have shown, uh, those are the detectors. Those are the little Sherlock Holmes inside our, our bloodstream. And when the uh, and uh, when the uh, the bad guy is coming in, then the Sherlock Holmes knows how to detect. And then inflammation doesn't need to happen 
because the uh, a little bad guy is not able to do damage. Yeah. And uh, this, uh, th 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 this we have shown. And this in the end shows, hey, if we are able to uh, take down uh, the information and with that change the perspective of what we at will as humans are able to do uh, in relationship to disease in general, then there will be a big change. People become much more self-aware, begin to do these breathing techniques, mm. take the damn cold shower and feel great. I love it, man. When is the last time you got the flu or got a cold or got sick where you were out for a while? Do you remember the last time? Uh, must be amnesia, but, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. And you're, and you're it's doing, not there. You're doing cold training often you're leading retreats every other week you're climbing you know a mountain in snow and freezing cold shirtless you're jumping in freezing rivers cold tubs ice showers you're doing these things but you don't remember remember the last time you got sick maybe a little little here and there but you were able to get yourself back to to full power are you in this time staying at home and making sure you're protecting yourself and the ones around you even though you're trained to not get sick or are you saying you know i'm gonna go outside i'm gonna live my life i'm gonna touch everything and touch my mouth and i'm not worried what's your mindset during this time i'm absolutely not uh, in fear uh, related to coronavirus infection i know how to beat uh, uh, to to beat it i know how to pre uh, to spike up my immune system I know this. Um, um, I, I already talked to the university and I told them, hey guys, you got, still got my blood, my blood taken while I was doing my exercises. And that blood uh, has shown to be a resistant uh, against a bacteria injected into the blood. Normally, uh, there is aggressive reaction of the immune cells ex vivo in laboratory setting so without me but it's my blood and i uh, they took it when i was doing my exercising and they took it normally there is a, a very violent reaction on the immune cells now they uh, took my blood and they put in the same bacteria and there was zero reaction on the immune cells really? Zero, zero. Is this with? So I told him, yes. Coronavirus or just with, Absolutely. with uh, any virus? That's what creates inflammation. And uh, uh, coronavirus also just it creates inflammation. So uh, we were not able to bring down inflammation at will. And I showed how to bring it completely down. Wow. So at least let them investigate uh, how this is possible because I've been showing it. And then they told me, you are the only one who is able to do this because you are the Iceman. Then I directly said, no, give me a group of people and I will show you know, just in a couple of days how to bring them to the autonomic nervous system, the innate immune system, how to bring down inflammation and then you test them all with the bacteria, you inject them and cause inflammation in the body, the innate immune system reaction, and then you will see they all will bring it down. That in contrary of hundreds and thousands of people who have done the same experiment and all got sick. Wow. Now, if there someone, we are. If someone is feeling... Um, sick right now and maybe they have coronavirus maybe they just have the flu or some type of cold or something else maybe they're causing sickness because of the mind and how they're stressing so much who knows why Sorry. what mm. would you say people should do obviously if they're if they're sick they should probably stay quarantined with this practice but what should they do in terms of just feeling better to try to strengthen the immune system and weaken the sickness what is something they could do every day is it 20 minutes a day of breathing like you said and ice and doing the ice stuff even if they feel weak will that help is it more breathing what's the strategy to increase the immune system 
If they feel weak, then they should do uh, the breathing exercises. The breathing exercises changes the chemistry, brings down the inflammation. And when it is brought down through the breathing techniques, not, hey, just do a little bit of breathing. Yeah, I breathe already all, all day long. No, not that way. Just follow the protocol, which these guys in the university also did. Also, those people are humans. So uh, you are a human, follow the protocol, and then it will show you will bring down inflammation, which was weakening the person. So the person feels weak, he brings down through the breathing techniques, the inflammation, then he feels strong again, he feels connection again, and that is a feeling strong. And, that and from to, there that starts to fight off the, the sickness. Yes, the inflammation goes down with that the sickness. And with that he feels he has control of a, a, a within his immune system at will, again, gives confidence and great feeling that that is one and then from there then take the, a, a, a hot shower take a cold one afterwards from 30 seconds to two minutes and, and, and you're gonna feel even greater because you uh, are exercising and activating the transportation system of your body and it's all logic why why does breathing help boost the immune system by itself why why is air into your body and your cells, why does that help? Yes, uh, when we do these breathing exercises we have shown in the university, they work different than any other breathing technique I have been uh, looking up. And uh, I've gone through science to show it. So that uh, it's factual, it's factual. Uh, these breathing techniques I've been exercising uh, randomly by going into cold water mm -hmm. and cold water is real stress and when real stress comes and you are able by certain kinds uh, of ways of breathing then those are breathing techniques that uh, is able to fend off the stress of the cold and uh, so that those breathing techniques after being so much in the cold I took home, I began to do those same breathing uh, techniques, which I was doing before but, uh, to fend off the cold. I, I took them home and began to exercise at home. And then it showed, wow, this goes deep. It, it changes my consciousness. It changes my feeling deeply. I see all the lights. I see all the chakras. I see enlightenment. I see anything. This, uh, I learned that by going into a, a, a cold water. And cold water is merciless but righteous. It's what I always say, but it is so. It is my teacher. If it works in cold water, it will work against any virus and or any bacteria. I love that. And, uh, and, and more so, you learn, if you learn how to deal with cold water, which is very stressful, which goes directly into your emotion, you learn also to deal with your emotion, with your mood. And this has now been shown in the, in the brain scans uh, that I'm able to connect with the areas where emotion is residing, where I, uh, while stress is coming uh, upon my body, I was able to feel euphoria. And you could not miss because you could see the brain. And uh, within the brain, you know where is the area of emotion and where is the area of pain and, uh, and, uh, and sensation. And they saw it all, and that was for the first time. Yeah. All learned in the cold water. Then I took that breathing, those, uh, those became techniques. I took them home, began to do them home, and it's uh, amazing what I also. And then I went to the university, and they gave me an injection. I began to do these breathing techniques and the bacteria had no chance. Wow. Because I was, now the mechanism of the breathing goes as follows. Because we alkalize the body by blowing off the carbon dioxide, mm. we are able to stay after say two minutes of deep breathing, blowing off the carbon dioxide, 
than to stay without uh, a breathing because the carbon dioxide trigger is gone. It is gone, the body is alkalized. So there is no need for breathing. The only need for breathing is because the a body becomes acidic, carbon dioxide that is. And then it's going, uh, then the trigger is going to work and you feel, oh, I need to breathe. But if the trigger is no longer there because your body is alkaline and not acidic, then you don't need to breathe. But what happens now, because you do not breathe, the oxygen amount, saturation of oxygen in the blood after one and a half minute is going drastically down where people normally die. This is where I, I showed this and I teach these people. The, uh, I, I taught you too, yes. you know, showed yes. you uh, the, in the breathing. And this, uh, when that happens, when the saturation of the oxygen goes down, but the body's uh, chemistry is still alkaline, it is able to go down without damaging the body. But what happens in the deepest part of the brain, which is reactive, the brain stem, the reptilian brain, the oldest part of the brain, it goes into survival. It shoots out adrenaline because it, it reacts as if there is a, a, a great danger going on. And what happens with the epinephrine, which is activated in the deepest part of the brain, it shoots out through the body into the blood stream and it resets the body. And when it resets the body, the immune system is working again the way nature meant it to be. Wow. And what was it? To fend off bacteria and virus uh, uh, because with the, uh, with a virus and uh, or with a bacteria, you cannot function in nature. So nature has got, got these great capabilities given to us, but we, with our comfort zone behavior, we think we can uh, uh, heat it up and bring it uh, 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 the heat down by air conditioning in the summer and uh, heating up in the winter. We are in a non-stimulative being. Well, we got a perfect machine to adapt all the time. And when danger then comes, it knows directly how to adapt mm. to the aggressor. Because you got environmental stress, mental stress, emotional stress, bacterial stress, Work virus, stress. viral stress. It's all, yes, but, uh, uh, exactly. Work stress, coronavirus stress, the lockdown stress, the open up as stress again, any stress is in the end stress. And we have the capability to adapt toward it and to find solutions. If you're looking for more greatness in your life, make sure to check out this video right here. And also check out our free PDF, The Three Secrets to Unlock the Power of Your Mind to Help You Change Your Life. Download it right here. It's actually X plus Y equals XY. X is what you're going through. Y is where you want to find mental peace.